will serve me okay. in death. I mean, this seems fairly reasonable. I can coin out one of the twos into a two into a three. So what would I rather have? Would I rather have plagues or would I rather have stats? I mean, they all seem kind of solid. Maybe it's just a full keep. I can play the. I can play this later. I guess because I, I've already got one of these. Let's let's do it like this. <clears throat> I think I want to front load the stats. My pain doesn't so we go two, two, three, probably. Leave a weapon for when we've got one mana to squeeze in somewhere. Oh, hell yeah, nice, okay. Makes me kind of inclined to um, get the weapon equipped now over the Baron because it's an extra curse to shuffle, right? It's kind of a big deal. Because <clears throat> I could just play the Defrost as well to spend the mana. I kind of like that. Am I staying in a five-star hotel? Uh, no, I'm not, actually. Okay. I don't really see a need to take this extra damage yet. Nice, Meat Man King. Look at that. That's what we like to see. Plague's being drawn. <clears throat> More plagues. More plagues. Let's fucking go. Oh, yes. That is what we like to see. It's a plague. It's a plague DK day today. So it's impossible for him to activate his Highlander cards now, right? Unless he has like some kind of a steam cleaner or something. I'm, I'm assuming he's running Highlander. <laughs> Trying to smoke me. This seems reasonable. It spends my mana. Uh, Asphyxiate is the strongest card here. Take me, take me. Oh, it hit the wrong one. I mean, I guess it was always going to be a 50 50. It's fine. <clears throat> Maybe could have saved it. I don't know. Nah, it's fine. How's Control Priest? Control Priest uh, felt okay, actually. I don't think it felt like the best deck in the game, but it felt it felt solid. Maybe like tier two. Maybe with some optimization of the build, it could be even better. <laughs> no. 
ramping up. Wow, that costs one. Shit the bed, that's pretty good. I could just go 4-1-1. One, one. It's the highest tempo line that I've got, I guess. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, so I guess I trade one more in to get an extra buff. I think what what kind of uh, what kind of card insane would need to come back from this, like a wall of taunts, a giant wall of taunts. I might even be able to steal that with Reska. So that is kind of a giant wall of taunts. Can I steal this? I think I should be able to steal it, right? Oh, this is this is a bit of a nuisance though. How am I gonna get to that one? Um see if I can get a good treasure first. I get a two one back from this as well, right? Rush. Four one four. You know this valuable. Turn into its own as hand. I mean, I could put this back, and then can I play with Reska? Maybe. Oh no, this just works, right? Well, I don't get to take control of it. Mm. I mean, I think I'm still in the lead. Like, it's fine. It probably could have been done better. Could have maybe taken like an Astral or something, I don't know. But I'm still definitely in the lead. Primus, yeah, okay. Sure. Which one do I want? Do I, like, do the blood one? Or do I do unholy? My rule is eternal. Um, when I could do unholy and put this back, it's very, very like this is too slow for him to do anything with it, right? Um, that's just one mana destroy a minion, which is kind of nice. I think I am going to put this back. I think it's too I think it's really too slow for him to do anything meaningful with it. <clears throat> nice.
feel the gift of the sun. How was the tuner? The fatty tuner has always been nuts. You gonna get something good? <laughs> Consecration is pretty good for a holy spell. I'm going, I think I'm going frost, right? Uh, not really very good. I I guess this is probably the best one. The citadel stands strong. That one's pretty good. Uh, we only need one. Just tempo this. He's got like two Astalors in his hand, a random spell. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna get there. Wasn't even forged, right? He's gonna draw some plagues, maybe? Yeah, one plague. He has nine plagues in his deck and 15 cards, so most of his deck is plagues. Oh, six damage, that's pretty good. One more. Do I? I probably want to activate this effect at least, right? He's got to almost be dead. Uh, four, four. I think I can maybe find lethal off of this sometimes, because I can shoot one of my own minions down, right? Oh, this is not the right one. Uh, can I kill one of my boys off? Uh, I guess I push extra damage, don't I, if I do it? Oh, there we go. I think I missed, li like, a guaranteed lethal, by the way. I think if I just uh, played this and killed my own thing off, it was lethal. So it was, that wasn't really a particularly well played game, but I drew hell yeah, so it wasn't really very difficult. Yeah, hero pack killing the ghoul, yeah, 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 that's what I should have done. I think I just full mole for the play cards. I don't know if this is good against PP Paladino. It does look like the kind of card that would be good against Paladin. But maybe I want to try and get some tempo first, you know, like if I mulligan for my ones and twos, maybe I won't need it. <clears throat> Don't know what I think about this pile of bones, like it, it sometimes gets in the way. We got Hellier again, nice. So we're gonna go two, three, four. Over here. 
Yeah, you know, we can get. Uh, two mana Remorseless Winter or zero mana Frost Strike. I think I'll take the Remorseless Winter. That looks pretty good against PP Paladino. Blow Horn. I guess I could blow my horn because it's it's uh, daytime. Go on then, just one blow of a horn. Just a small one. A small sausage blow. Right, I'm getting the hellier down. I do not care. It's coming. You have earned an eternity of <clears throat> Pretty strong. My Remorseless Winter is going to be good against this, but it almost clears the whole board. Um, and then I think we Excavate. Seems pretty strong. Get the 2 1 back as well, which is nice. I get a draw 3. Man, that's a, it's, it's a big hand he's got there. What the fuck, bro? So I definitely want to excavate at least once. I probably want these plagues too. Let, let's take a look at what's inside here. Discover a free cost card. It costs zero. Well, that's pretty good tempo alongside this. Um, I can take a Rush Poisonous, or I could take a Deal 3, because I don't need the corpses, right? Yeah, I think I'll take the Deal 3. And we'll get this Sausage down. Okay, not bad. We're keeping up with, uh, we're keeping up with Levick on the board. Can I get this DK code? Yes, you can. It's literally on the screen. <laughs> yes, we start with this. Probably one. I mean, I could go two, three, two as well. Let maybe start with this one. Five cost for zero. Um. Hmm. What's the best one here? I mean, I could play this and draw some cards. I get an extra 3-3, free free and it's kind of strong anyway. Sure. Get my Primus next turn. Oh, I get cards off of that as well. That's pretty good. Yeah, that worked out nicely. <laughs> You're going to play that big AoE. You're going to play the big fucking AoE card. Classic Levick. I mean, I'm going to... Uh, kill this with a Primus, I guess. So I don't die. Um, seems like the best card. Not really excited about either of them. 
Good, more plagues. Anachronos, okay. I mean, we will get this back at some point. Have obliterate to deal with it. So I guess we can start by drawing some cards. I think this is better than this for drawing cards. I can take control of this uh, with Resca, right? Is that better than obliterating? I think it is. And I guess I shuffle some more plagues. My pain doesn't compare to your I think I just play this and take the... Like, it just seems good on the board, right? Yeah, it's pretty good tempo. <clears throat> nice, dude. Two zero with the uh, with the plague DK. Maybe this is the deck. Now everyone's playing Highlander. Maybe it just farms Highlander decks. I guess I can coin two into two. He should have something to hit with this, right? I don't know. I'm not particularly excited about that, but it's fine. <laughs> Got a Tomb Traitor as well. I'm expecting him to play something that I can I can slap with this. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. And then we can play Vizier next turn. Yeah, it works for me. The more you scrub out, the uh, yeah, I'll take that. That lets me clear up a... That lets me clear a 1-5, a right, with this, which is really nutty. I like that a lot. Oh, he's playing, he's play, actually just playing Outcast, okay. <clears throat> so... Probably just f four and zero. Yeah. Howling Blast in the ass for one, sure. He's playing all his cards, mate. He's playing all his cards. Mm, surely you're not pumping seven into that. Surely not. That would be a shameful play. Has he drawn no plagues? Oh, he has drawn one plague. Okay. What's he playing for zero? You can still play Predation? Huh. 
Alright. So, I've got this play, which is pretty good here. Howling Blast also clears off pretty much all of the board. Um, so I might want to go just Howling Blast and School Tekka. Maybe Howling Blast and Skeleton Crew. Yeah, I think I like that a bit more. Well, I guess this is probably the best one. Nice, he's drawing plagues. Nice, more plagues, let's go. So this is going to be the Tomb Traitor turn, right? Just Tomb Traitor plus uh, Astalor for the full clear. I'm late. Yeah, I am late. I decided not to wake up at midnight and stream today. Is that all he's doing? Really? Wow. Well, I guess I do the checkmate turn then, right? Uh, yeah. Like, he ain't beating that. Nice. Three zero. Three zero with the uh, with the plague death knight. We're in, we're back into top ten. We've done it. We're back into top ten Lego. Not in the dumpster anymore. I think I'm gonna throw all of these away. Dad, you were so close, Dad. You were so close, but I'm back. I got back from the bathroom. Nice try. Honestly, this is probably a liability in this matchup, but I think I'm going to play it anyway. <laughs> I'll take it back, thank you. <clears throat> what do we get? Two cost card. Yeah, that makes sense. Gonna buff up his worms. This is a problem. I do have to kill this, otherwise it just gets worse. Guess I can play this discounted. Look for something to actually answer the next board with, because I do need something to do answer the next board with. Uh, frozen over, my opponent mills a card. And maybe, oh, I don't know, there's not, not much I can actually do though. I mean, I probably have to take 
Heart strike to have a chance of answering this next board. Because it's going to be a really, it's going to be a, a big stinker, this next board. It's going to be a big stinker. That's not good. This one, this one costs zero, right? Probably just take the, the cards. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to win this one. I don't even have any plagues in this deck yet. Um, big problem. I could put plagues in. Kind of good. Let's put some plagues in his deck so that we can maybe play a Tomb Traitor next turn. I mean, it just about works, right? I, I need to play it or I'm going to die. Guess I could also take an Azerite Rat. What does it resummon even? Uh. It resummons like a Vizier or something, right? It's kind of bad. I mean, it's not terrible. It has Reborn. I think I'm just going to do this, though. Yeah, I'm going to get smushed by his combo in a minute. Like, it's difficult for me to actually leave minions on the board. I I still don't I don't have any plagues left in the deck. I probably have to just hope he doesn't have his combo and, and take the Azerite rat here. It's so bad though.
I don't think it wins the game. Like, it's just summoning another four back, right? And it doesn't even have rush either. No, I mean, I'd, de I'd definitely lose this game. I'm, like, almost dead on board. Not that it matters, like, he's dead from his hand. Just has the Jormungar card. There we go. Yeah. Okay, th this matchup is... This matchup seems bad. Well, we killed another druid and we've got hell yeah nice oh it's insane again dude he's not gonna be happy he's not gonna be happy okay the cards i threw away were kind of better but i've got i've got the important card that's what matters Astalor back. You go play it, no? I guess I just spend my mana. Oh no, I can play two and one, right? Two and one is good. Yeah, free damage. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to spend that. I was hoping for a tempo one. Alright, here we go. You have earned an eternity of arcane vault. I wanna get uh the, this card out as soon as possible because this shuts off his Highlander cards, right? Very important to shut his Highlander cards off. Cross Plague active. Because <clears throat> that's how he would win. The way he would win is he would get the Legendary Dragon down. But he can't do that now. There's no way that he can do it with a Frost Plague active. So I guess we're going to play this for sure. And then we can just spend mana on this. He milled a frost plague. That's annoying. I need to kill this uh, like urgently so he can't play like Reno. Let let's just see what this shuffles first of all. Let's see what this shuffles. If it shuffles frost, I need to kill it. It shuffled blood, so he has two bloods in his deck. That's fine. I don't need to kill this off then. I guess I go for... <laughs> Tempo. <laughs> I guess I go for Tempo then. <laughs> you know this mandible. Share my pain. No reprieve. 
Yeah, I don't need to kill this off. There's no way that he can activate his, his Rono cards. Oh shit, the bed! He's coming in with a yog, clapping my cheeks over here. His hand is full again, so he could mill treasures. Seems like kind of a good turn for the Chain Guardian. Um, He's not dead, is he? I definitely don't want to remove um things from his deck i kind of want to put this back in so My rule is eternal. You yes it's just five five and two yeah Make sure his Highlander cards are well and truly off the table. It's going to go back to full life, I guess. He's going with fresh, okay. And for weapon. Am I going to get punished for my poor positioning? Maybe. I did get punished my poor positioning shit. I might still be able to kill him, I don't know, maybe not. Another one of those. I mean that is a lot of damage. Uh it just clears this, right, which is a problematic card. Don't really see why I would need to play this, so I think I just uh, develop the Astalor as well. This cannot be this cannot be A gift of no <clears throat> Yo, something happened. Oh, is my chat broken? I think my chat's broken. What happened? My, how long has my chat been broken for? Damn it. Oh, the whole of my Twitch is broken. What the fuck? Again? My chat was broken, so I didn't see what happened. I guess we'll never know. Somebody did something. Someone subbed or spent some points or something. Is he actually making a comeback here? He actually might make it a comeback, you know. Pr 
Primus. Yeah, I can do the Primus now. Which one do I want? Do I want Blood or Unholy? Blood... The Unholy is kind of bad against this weapon, right? Yeah, I think it's probably blood. It's the most likely to stick if I pick blood. You gonna leave his hand full? Very like rude. Right, so that's uh, once this dies, we're gonna get it back off of uh, the the thing, right? So, do I go for frost or unholy here? We unholy. unholy. Symbol of death. That's kind of strong. Just go sour fang, blight fang, maybe. Fairly reasonable. Milling more. plagues, classic. <laughs> my chat is still broken. I still can't see any messages in my chat. Why is my Twitch doing this? Why is my Twitch broken? It's so annoying. I literally can't read my own chat. <clears throat> what did he do? He light bombed. Okay. Okay, my chat's working again now, we fixed it. Nice. Uh, 
I mean, that's pretty strong. This is... Is this lethal? Almost. Victory is yours. It was lethal. We got him, boys. We got him. Nice. Yeah, I was looking at... I was looking at my cards, and I was like, Nice, I drew hell yeah. And then I looked who I was against, and I was like, Oh, it's insane. That makes sense. <laughs> right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Definitely gonna keep the staff. Stop me now. I think we just I think I look for better tempo options. I mean this is kind of reasonable tempo. Nah, let's let's uh let's look for some better tempo options with, with this. So I don't think I need to swing this with any urgency. Paladin has a lot of good targets for this weapon. <clears throat> like that. Probably want to coin out one of the fours. I was mega losing without the Titan. I probably was. I probably was. So I could just play the free. I guess this gets me closer to Hellia, which is nice. Yeah, let's do that. I like getting closer to Hellia. I like Paladin not having minions. He's got two Blood Plagues. His Highlander cards are shut off already, which is pretty nice. For now, anyway. I'm going to try and draw Hellier again, I think. And if not, then I'll just play a four. Alright, no Hellier. Just a four. Uh, one mana... Excavate seems pretty good. Perfect. More tempo for meat, ma'am. a lot of stuff um do i have to t i probably have to tomb traitor this right I and mean, then i guess i play this as well so put it on the highest attack one A little bit sad I have to make all those trades. Uh, now that is toxic. That's very toxic. What the fuck, bro? What the actual fuck? I am not beating that. <laughs> um, yeah. Shit, the bed. Is there anything I can just... Maybe I can discover, like, the, the blood card or something for free mana. Close. Not really close. Uh, I guess Howling Blast and Down with a Ship is like the best I've got.
Maybe I can clear with this next turn. <clears throat> Shit the fucking bed. I'm s no, these are buffing these are buffing themselves up for fuck's sake. Um Can't think of any two cost cards that save me, I mean be something right I don't think it's coming home Is there anything? No. Yeah, that was that was very toxic. That was not very much fun to play against. Demon Hunter. Uh, we did actually beat a Demon Hunter when we played against this. We we yeah we beat Nagro Demon Hunter right. I think we turbo high rolled them, but. Maybe not with this hand. Don't be so hard on myself. It's true though, man. I am... It's because I'm very introverted, right? Like, if you meet up with me in person, then I'll say hello, and you'll say hello, and then I'll just stand there until, like, until someone says something else, you know? I guess this is more stats, so we'll do this. We have Hellier next turn, which is kind of good. It kind of disrupts their their rhythm a little bit. I mean, it's not kind of good. It's my best card, so yeah, definitely play that on a quiet turn. Also activates Tomb Traitor, which is nutty. You'd say hello a second time. Uh, yeah, I, I might also say hello a second time. <laughs> I don't know, I'm very, I'm very comfortable with silence. That's, that's the thing, right? And some, some people are very uncomfortable with silence. Some people really struggle with, uh, with, with silence. So, if you're the kind of person who is okay with silence, then we get along great. But if you're if you're uncomfortable with silence, it's not going to be fun hanging out with me. Because if there's nothing to say, I won't say it. Hmm. So I get a two-one back from this. It's kind of reasonable. Yeah. Just for most stats I can output, right? Restore free health, draw a card. I mean, I can do it next turn. I guess the upside is maybe I could draw Staff of Primus. I could have saved it one turn and I would have got one more life back, though. Difficult to say what's better there. Like, the, like, getting a Staff of Primus is huge, so I think that was the one I went for. This guy does look like he's getting his skull melted, though. Why is he putting stuff back into the deck? I'm confused. What What's the reason behind this? Has he got something that he wants to outcast, maybe? 
I need to put plagues in his deck. I want him to draw as many plagues as possible. Um, but I can't really do that. I think it's probably going to be three and three. All right, let's see how many plagues he gets. One plague. Better than no plagues. And he should draw a lot. If he goes for a pop-off, he should draw a lot more, right? You would expect him to draw a lot more plagues. It is our time to what if someone said Meat Man King and started bowing? Uh, I would... I would find that very disconcerting if someone did that in real life. Where did this come from? He's just running this card? Why? Why is he running this card? Um, so I can actually get the Azerite Rat, which is really, really good tempo, right? Yeah. What is it? What will it resurrect? What's the highest cost thing that I've summoned? I think it's Hellier, right? But yeah, this is just, uh, it's just such good tempo. Oh my goodness, my PC really doesn't like the animations on these new cards. Oh, it's this as well. It's fine. Anyway, it's too, it's too much stats for him. He can't deal with that. Everyone's PC struggles with the Excavate Legendary. I'm sure it does. He's going to kill himself. Dude, this is, this is wonderful. This is a wonderful sight to behold. Is he going to mill his plagues? Piece of fucking shit, he milled a plague. Oh, did he die? Uh, wait, can I not kill him? I actually can't kill him. No, I can. Nice, Meat Man King. Wange. Oh, we got the staff. Nice. Do I want to keep an excavate? I, f I feel like I just want a mulligan really hard for hell yeah versus a priest. Let's see if we can find that hell yeah. Get these things down. I mean, maybe they just get silenced, but I don't really care that much about them. Guess tempo. Mm. 
at some point this might be strong. I think at this point in the game, probably Plague Strike is, is the best one. I don't know. Might even be Graveyard Shift. Maybe he could, like, steal this from my hand. That would be terrible. Let's pick this. It's, like, the stickiest one, I guess. Oh, me and my wife having a blast in Japan. We are. My wife rewarded me. Um, she said I could have a day off of walking around Korea and I could just stream today. Isn't that nice? And this is more stats on the board. One mana. Obliterate or Blood Tap or Transformation. I guess the Obliterate is kind of nice to have, right? If he plays a big minion like a Titan or something. I need to start putting Plagues in his deck as well. I've delayed it to try and get Hellier online first. But now I think I need to start putting Plagues in so Reno isn't active. Uh, let's see. Could have healed my minion as well. <clears throat> Drawing the plague straight away. Yeah, that. I mean, I think in this situation, that's kind of that bad for me. So I, I can have two pops at trying to find Helia with this. We like that. No hell yeah. All right. Spend mana then, I guess. Or, I mean, I can continue to draw cards. I guess the sooner I get hell yeah, the better. Let's just keep drawing cards. Kind of tempted to just obliterate this. Push for damage, but it's going like this is this is exactly when he wants to play his uh, his big idiots, right? I think I should have some uh, have some discipline and hold. Oh, he's not playing Highlander because he's running two Holy Novas. Okay, he's not playing Highlander. Fine. Right, I still haven't drawn Hell yet. Guess 3 2 2 here. The more you scrub out, the better. Discover a weapon? I mean, that could be pretty good. I guess I don't need to play it now. My pain doesn't, my pain I'll definitely swing this. <clears throat> he has a steam cleaner. I'm sure he has a steam cleaner. The steam cleaner is probably in his hand right now. But I can just load the deck up again after the cleaner, right? Right. So I could I could get a premise down now. Let let's have a look inside here first. Frostmorn. That's a big weapon. 
Do I just get it equipped right now? I mean, it's not bad against this, right? It's a 6-4 weapon. Good grief. Um... Yeah, okay. I think Priest doesn't really like weapons that much. Right, that's the obliterate target. I mean, I could, uh, I, I could even hit it to get it inside the Frostmourne. It's a consideration. <clears throat> or I can blood room this. I mean, there's a lot of shit I can do here. Like, I kind of want to push the damage. Probably is like the best opportunity to get a Primus down, right? My rule is eternal. Part of me wants to develop an Astalor too, like because I could I could obliterate and just get an Astalor set up in my hand. That's a huge amount of damage. Let's do that. I think I think I think the damage strat is gonna work much better for me here than um than the value strat. DJ Mana Storm. Okay, bro. Cleans up my scene. So that one probably gets primused. Yeah. It's gonna have to be premised, isn't it? And it maybe makes a copy of this or something. Another weapon? Yeah, I like weapons. Weapons good against priest. He's used can one cannibalizer already. I guess he could cannibalize again. Whirlpool. That's fine. I can I can deal with that. And sister. I mean, he's pretty much dead, right? With the... Oh, no, he's not dead anymore. <laughs> Hell yeah, nice. I mean, we, we know... Well, we think that he's got... Oh, this came out of the ETC. So I guess, uh, I guess he doesn't have cleaner. Or, well, he doesn't... He, he may have cleaner, like, later on, but now this is very good. You have earned an eternity of torment. Um. And then I've got to decide, do I want to chain Guardian for some tempo? Seems reasonable. Two of them now. Like, it's kind of difficult for him to develop a steam cleaner into that, right? Because <clears throat> it's actually... It's actually quite a sizable board. Chain Guardian Astalor is going to be lethal, right? Unless he generates that. Yeah, sure. Um, could just get a weapon online and start bonking him. 
Or I can keep the pressure up with Chain Guardian Astalor. I think I like getting all this Astalor damage in. <laughs> he might have, like, discovered this from my hand or something. I don't know. We got another Cannibalize, okay. Is he going to clear this completely? And he's looking for something to clear it with. He needs to, because I've got this weapon. I've got eight damage in my hand. I guess he could keep himself alive with a location, but he's running out of steam. He concedes. Unlucky Wange. Better luck next time. I mean, I guess I could just curve out, right? Coin two, two, three. This is kind of low tempo, but it does spend my mana and give me better options in the future. Oh, he's trading, okay. Alright, well, let's keep spending mana. Am I supposed to play this, or am I? Sp I think I'm supposed to play this, right? The Citadel stands okay, I mean the, the Tomb Traitor is in incredibly strong here. That's maybe a game-saving top deck. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to beat this Crusader or without that top deck for sure. Nice. The song that's playing on follow, it's Bo Peep Bo Peep by Tara. Yeah, this guy knows where the place is. Piece of shit. Alright, we need to put a plague in the deck first, so this needs to get traded in, and then we play the traitor. Alright, we're only down to 11 health. We had, we spent all of our mana, we were as aggressive as possible, and the Paladin took us down only to 11 hit points on turn 4. It's completely fine. Now if he sticks a minion, I'm going to get my ass blasted. Or maybe I'm going to get my ass blasted already. I don't think you can quite play these zero mana spells yet, right? Uh, so that needs to be traded in. Uh, do I want to play this, or School Tekka? Probably school Tekka. So let's see what this does first. Uh, I guess this one. It summons my 2 1 back as well, right? That's kind of nice. <clears throat> like, if enough shit dies, I, I can probably play this. Or maybe I could just kill my opponent. Like, he's. He's kind of low, right? 
Unless he's just going to equip a weapon and murder me, I don't know. Oh no, I'm ge I'm getting murdered with giants, I see. Fuck. Oh, he doesn't have the prismatic lens, or he's just buffing these up? Never mind. Okay. My opponent is, is a lucker. Well, that's very, very bad. I don't think I have a chance. Um... I can generate the blood card, right? That's where we're at now. This is not doing enough. That's not the blood card. Um, can the Sunwell generate anything? Probably. Oof. That'd be like solid alibi or something, I don't know. Uh, not these. Security? Into Reska, maybe? It's not looking good. Uh... No. Not happening. Too, it's too much for meat, ma'am. Maybe if I could have got the Resca down with dead air, maybe it would have been doable. I don't know. Seems like a good start. So I'm not in a massive hurry to shut off his Highlander cards. I have another weapon yet. So I'll hold on to this. Probably want to play this next turn, so it seems good to get this down. I might want to take one swing now. All right, we'll play this one. Board is clear. Um, I could trade and clean up, or I could just put a bunch of Plague Boys out. I think this spends the mana, so I'm more inclined to to do this. Oh, I should have drawn first. Oh, well. Mm, didn't get punished. So he's got two Frost Plagues in his deck. For now, his Highlander cards are shut off. But that won't be the case for long. If I can't get, hell yeah. Lots of frost plagues. Mm, 
coins. Didn't really want the coins. So now um, I need card draw. This is the, the game where the defrost would be really nice to pick up. Okay, card draw. I will take it. Another excavate. Yeah, that seems fine. Keep pumping him. Solar Eclipse with the Blossom. He's going, he's going up big time on the health. I'm assuming he's playing a Highlander deck. Oh, that's annoying. I really needed that card draw. Shit. Some well, I mean that is a lot of cards. That's kind of what I need. Let's take the cards. Um, coin mark of scorn. Just cycle seems okay. No hell yeah yet. <clears throat> so these plagues are not getting reshuffled. <clears throat> the reverb is kind of funky. Um, I mean, this lines up quite well. This is also decent. I think I, I want to start by drawing, I think. Let's trade this away. This makes this zero. Hmm. Two, two. Three, maybe? I don't know. Let's put as much stats as possible out.
fine. He had to do quite a lot to deal with that. Cult Neophyte? Why is he running Cult Neophyte? What the fuck? 10 damage. Yeah, he's not dead yet. This might be a good turn for a Tomb Traitor. Could just... Upgrade and play Jackpot and Tomb Traitor? I don't know. I mean, the hero power is kind of decent as well, right? I think it's a good hero power. It's pushing two, kind of. He is dying. His Highlander cards are still mega shut off. I, bestow these gifts upon the world. I can reverb this if I need. <clears throat> need. Or Resker it. Resker is probably better. See what else he does. He just goes for Astalor, okay. So I have uh, quite a lot of damage in hand. I have six on the board. I have nine in my hand. So that's lethal with a ping, right? Yeah. Meat man ping. Excellent. I don't even know what decks are good. I've got to be honest, I have no idea what is even good. Oh, another druid and an another hell yeah. I guess I could keep the plagues because I have hell yeah. Sure. Now this is this is a nut draw right here. Maybe four mana two damage AoE guy. Oh, that one. Probably not, no. And yeah, let's just get these plagues in the deck fast, because we've got hell yeah. Peaceful Pippa. Am I just launching here? Oh no, we're playing this for sure. <laughs> All right, here comes the nuts. Uh, I guess one more plague, sure. All the plagues are in the deck. Is that eight plagues? So every time our opponent draws a card, he has a one in four chance to draw a plague. Does Hellier affect previous plagues added? Yes, it does. 
That might be a nice nerf to Hellier, actually, because I do think this card is unpleasant to play against. You could you could nerf Hellier by only the free plague shuffled by Hellier and never ending. Go Defrost Cobalt Miner, maybe. Nice, here come the plagues. What we like to see. <clears throat> He's probably gonna try and make a taunt wall. I have Tomb Traitor, which is gonna help a lot. So I can trade in and go for Wizzy Air. I can just go for a school tecker. Probably a school tecker. The most uh, most tempo I can do. Frozen over. Frozen over could be very bad for me because even though it does draw plagues, it could give my opponent more dragons. Um, I think it's probably just plague strike for tempo. Like, we're getting kind of close to the Reska being playable. I think if a Reska's playable, he's not going to be able to make any board. That's really nice because he can't play his Taunt Wall now. He's got a Frost Plague up. I mean, we're just kind of destroying him. with it. I mean, this was such a nut draw. Oh, he is going to play the Dragon still. The big special Dragon. Wow, it is, it is really big and very special. Um, so, can I kill this off with Tomb Traitor? This goes in here, 211 goes in. It's almost a clear with Tomb Traitor. Almost is probably good enough. Any questions? More plagues. Yeah. Because the Resca is going to be active now, right? Job done. <laughs> the second one. Now that is a nuisance. That is a big nuisance. That's a that's a real help though. Uh, I should probably be playing this first. I don't know, let's... The rescue always comes down. And then we maybe do this. Yeah, let's do that. Uh... Could just do an Unholy Frenzy. Yeah, I think it's probably the best one. Right, well, the two waves of idiots have gone, so that's something. There's still a lot of tempo coming my way. I might still be in a sp in a pickle. Look at this. I'm, I might still be in a pickle. That's not the top deck that I needed. Um. Hmm. I think I am going to die. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm out of gas. So I need him to draw some plagues for me now. Man, there's so many in the deck. Here they come. Here they come. But can, am I going to die randomly? That's a question. Probably not now. I've got a bit of extra life now. Wow, the plagues are coming. Oh my goodness, they're coming. What the fuck? What the fuck? That was a lot more plagues than I was expecting. Shit, the bed. Maybe we're okay. That was a lot of plagues. I still need top decks, though. I still really do need top decks. Yeah, how many plagues? He's got, uh... Dude, he's got a, a huge amount of plagues in his deck, though. I mean, I, f I think more than half of his deck is plagues now. I'm still going to lose if I can't get something good off the top, though. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's not what I needed. Fuck. Okay, man. If we if he draws that many plagues again, then maybe we can get there. But I'm, uh, I think that was, not, that was not the one we needed. No, okay. Okay, bro. Fair enough. A pile of shit off the top. <clears throat> oh, a Death Knight mirror. Out of coins. My pain doesn't compare to your plague. Mm, I guess we just go again. Could go down with the ship as well. I mean, we can still do it if, with the coins if we want. Yo, unstoppable, thanks for the prime. Yeah, let's just uh, keep the tempo up here, I think. And then next turn, we should be able to get a, a free mana treasure for zero, which is pretty strong. <clears throat> Thank you very much for that PP prime. That's kind of slow. That is not the one that I wanted. I wanted one that gave me some tempo. Shit. At least he doesn't have hell, yeah. This is giving me the legendary reward, um, but it's not summoning anything very good back. I think I go three and two. I think I'm going to try and get to my hell yeah. Oh, I drew the frost plague. And for some, this should, this should still cost zero, right? Seems kind of bugged. Um, 
So do I just go hero power now? I I, I was gonna play the Astalor. Hmm. What would my next turn look like then? I guess I could still go like three and three, something like that. It's really annoying. Now that is not what I wanted to see. Shit for bed. At least we got one of the plagues out before it came, I guess. I guess three and three here, probably. The more you scrub out, the better. Uh, probably, probably this one. Maybe I can just kind of kill him. I don't know. I do have a lot of damage in my hand, like a lot, a lot of damage. What's this, three, six? I have like 12 damage here with a buffed weapon as well. <clears throat> oh dear. Wow, I've not played many play cards. Let's do this first. Staff of Primus is probably the best one because it's so easy to play. I want to get that online now. So are we going... Could just do Tomb Traitor Hero Power. Could go Collapse. Or I could just, maybe I save the AoEs, maybe I just do deal 3, get this boy out, hero power, that's kind of fine, right? Although I guess I want the plagues in the deck, but this one, this one can go face, yeah. I'm thinking I'm more on a I'm more on a face game plan here than uh like because he's got Helio and I haven't I'm not gonna win the long game. I want to get the chain guardian down as soon as possible because I want this one to be resurrected if I need something resurrected. Now that's very bad. That's plagues. Um, my rule is eternal. I think like that. Getting the Astral in the hand is kind of a big deal. Because that's a lot of damage I can do at some point. I have an Azerite right now, so if I can get these Chain Guardians down, I've got some mega, mega tempo. Take 
to taunt minion. I, I don't care because I've got the the guardian. Well, that is a Resca. Alright. It has to be this one, right? Because I need to resurrect it. Death cannot be bound. Death cannot be bound. Don't really want to draw cards here. We are we're getting very, very close to killing him though. He doesn't have much life left. The more you struggle, the better. We're getting very lucky as well, not hitting the plagues. So I'm going to have to Tomb Traitor this, almost certainly. I can't kill him, right? Don't think I need to Azerite right yet. Could just take some extra tempo. Seems like the best thing I'm going to spend my mana on here. Got this big boy Astalor, which I need to connect face, which I can almost certainly connect face next turn because I can get the Chain Guardian down with it. <clears throat> Mul Mulligan for this deck. I mean, you always keep a weapon. You always keep Hell Yeah. And then you kind of look at the rest of the hand and see how it works, I guess. Is he going to get his rat? Now that's very problematic if it's giving him a chain guardian, which it is. That has... Oh, it gives him a Resca. That's probably, probably even worse. Hmm. So I'm not going to kill him if he's got lifesteal on that. I'm going to have to play another Tomb Traitor. It's going to get taken over. So I could play around that by maybe excavating here first. Death calls. Oh, I can go Tomb Traitor Azerite Rat. That's probably slightly better. <laughs> I 
And I'm back to full life, right? And we still got this Chain Guardian Astalor combo. The Citadel stands strong. Wow, he's running that. Okay. Interesting. I don't think I'm. I don't think it's lethal yet, right? But I kind of have to just do it. You shall suffer. Like, this is definitely the, the play here. I've been really lucky not to draw as many plagues as I have. Maybe he draws some more plagues now and dies. I don't know. He does have a lot of plagues in his deck still. There's one. So if he doesn't heal next turn, I, I do have lethal with this card. Never fucking mind. Uh, I still have my own Primus. I still have Reska. Alright, these are almost unplayable because my deck is just half plagues now. Right, here come his plagues. I mean, this is what happens when you get the Hellier first, right? I got the Primus, so that's a big deal. It's a very big deal. <clears throat> just take a full board, I guess. my last I guess I do have another staff of Primus sure oh here we go here we go wow that was powerful what the fuck, bro? Okay, he's drawing some plagues at least. He's <clears throat> kind of almost killing himself here. Oh, he, he had to obliterate it. Okay, so now he's on five life. I have almost lethal. In fact, do these hit ra This is random enemies. Just don't draw any blood plagues, please. Come on. No blood plagues. No blood plagues. Nice. Right. So. It should be guaranteed lethal, right? Oh, it's. I guess maybe it's not. If it hits this, it's not lethal. Thank fuck. Oh my fucking goodness. Whew, what a nail biter. What a nail biter. I, I guess I should have done that first, because yeah, I could have got something like Rush, sure. The top deck Primus? I mean, he also top decked the Primus. Like, we, we both top decked our Primuses. What do you want? I think, is, isn't is Coin Hero Power better than Coin Kvaldir? It kind of like, kind of does the same thing, but. Yeah. Shit. My pain doesn't compare to your plague. I'm not throwing. 
Oh my goodness, he's just going straight in. On turn fucking three, mate. Come on, give me an answer. I'm begging you. I mean, this answers it next turn. The Frost Strike also answers it, but I think this is slightly better. Because it also deals with the board, right? It's pretty good. Oh, he had to spend two mana on that. Wow. Okay. Thank goodness he didn't get a buff. Oh my goodness. If he got a buff, I was screwed. My, my clear wouldn't have worked. This is still really nasty. What the fuck, dude? Good grief. What a cancer. <laughs> no chance. I die? Actually not dead yet. But how do I stay alive? Like, I don't think it's possible. Is there any card in my deck that would save me? No. Is there any treasure? Not for one. The most defensive play I can make is down with a ship and Astalor. I don't think that's going to get me there either, unless I shuffle, like, a bunch of Blood Plagues into my opponent's deck and he draws them immediately. Well, I guess that's where we're at. No, okay. AoE treasure, it's free mana, not the first one. So do we keep this now? Let's keep it and see how it does. When I take out, I took out Defrost. How are games of Ogre Priest? Ogre Priest felt, felt good. Solid tier 2 deck. It seems pretty good. Gives me a 2-1 back as well. No corpses, but I think that's okay. Oh, it's the guy who's running for Loam. If I had to climb back to Legend... Oh, what are you saying? If I, if I wanted a ladder finish, I'd probably play... Hunter. Hmm. I think it's very important to get some plagues in the deck here because I have the Tomb Traitor. My pain doesn't compare to your
Wow, why is it so cheap? What the fuck? Oh, we played two wayward sages, that's why. Kind of sad I had to float all that mana. I do have a clear on his combo board at least, but I don't know. I feel like it's going to kill me. He has a lot of mana. Oh my fucking goodness. Really? That's actually huge that it hit the Frost Plague there, but I think I still lose. Oh, wait, no. All of the plagues went. So I, this isn't active anymore because you drew all of the plagues. Well, that's terrible. Yeah, I mean, they got to nerf this card. This is ridiculous. Ah, she just died. Wow. Because they they do release some very broken things, but like I I think that they release them kind of with the expectation that some of them are gonna get nerfed, right? I guess it's better it's better to have them too strong than too weak. If you release the cards and they all need to be buffed, then all the hype from your expansion goes, right? Uh Death Knight. I guess I shall keep this one. It's kind of okay tempo. <clears throat> I haven't been drawing Mahelia so much for the last few games, man. Mahelia makes a huge difference. <clears throat> I drew it a lot at the start. My pain doesn't compare to your so next turn I probably play this because I want to have as high a chance as possible to have Hellier on curve, right? Wow, he's putting a lot of plagues in my deck. Goodness gosh. This one is actually discounted, but I I think I want the Hellier. So let's try and find the Hellier. Oh shit, we got it. Okay, okay, we have the Hellier. My opponent's not reaching for his coin. This is good. And a bonus token. Okay. I'm not even sad that it doesn't get reshuffled again. I'm just happy. Right, no frost plague now. And then we can play the hell yeah. Excellent. Good shit. Meat Man King. Take my card draw now. Better to draw the cards before the hell yeah than after it. Pocket Train is a four-digit gamer. Yeah, he's not really, though, is he? He's just having fun. He's coining out... Pick me, pick me. Crop Rotation. I mean, that is fairly strong. I 
good for this, I guess. Uh, I want to get plagues in his deck. I could just play all the play cards. Play this and this and this. Yeah, let's do that. Run for help. Get those plagues in his deck. So now he has seven plagues in his deck. <clears throat> I mean, you should hit that minion, right? Because otherwise I just take a value trade in here. Could go 3 plus 3. Spend more, the most mana. Start with this 3. Blood Boil is probably the strongest card. Or maybe Corpse Explosion strongest. No, I think probably Blood Boil just for the life gain. I'm not going to play it this turn, though. If I'm not playing it this turn, I probably just go face, right? Because I get more healing off of this. Yeah, let's do that. Well, he's trading into my 2 4, that's good. So this seems like a good turn for an AoE. It's either Blood Boil in the bag or Tomb Traitor. Um, <clears throat> I do need to address this one. Have I even excavated once yet? I don't think I have and there's a 2-1 inside. Nah. Try and find, I'm going to try and find an answer, and I think I'm going to Blood Boil. I'm going to Blood Boil. I think it's a very good Blood Boil. I could take a Scourge for next turn. Um, or I summon a copy of like a Resca or something, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, this takes me pretty much back to full life, right? So I don't even care that much that I'm taking damage from this.
The Scourge is difficult to get down. I guess I can try and take control of this. If I fail, then I can... I mean, this is just really good here. Yeah, just take a really good line. Yeah. Just guaranteed really good, right? Cross strike, nuts. More draw, sure. Because now, if he does play like a massive, uh, a massive thing, then I've got rescue. Right? Like I've got single target removal for anything. So there's the massive thing. He must be almost dead, right? Not quite, though. We only need one. Death is a symptom of life. Take a good look. You ain't never seen a very good or alive. Pretty good. Uh, spend mana. Should I shouldn't have done this uh, first? This one looks really good for me, honestly. I think he just dies if I do this, because uh, he has so many plagues in his deck. <clears throat> oh, maybe I died. Because he didn't draw any of the plagues. Oh no, he did draw some there. Well, I hope I didn't die. Maybe I did, though. Maybe this was a throw. Hmm. Man, he really has a lot of plagues. Nah, I don't think he's going to get them. Miss Howling Blast for guaranteed free damage face. Uh, yes. But I think that my play pushed more damage face on average. I still I still think he's dead, right? Even with this, yeah, he's still dead. So not played perfectly, but played well enough. Oh, wow, dude. <laughs> he generated a steam cleaner. He's still dead. He's still dead. I think he's conceded because I can't do anything. No. <laughs> Dude, he generated a steam cleaner. What a what a chad. <laughs> that was completely random right he didn't even discover it it was just a random five drop all right 
We have hell yeah, excellent. This is a s something I can spend my mana on. Sure. Wow, what a hand. <clears throat> I'm going to try and get as many plagues into the deck as possible, so I'm going to be swinging this from turn one, I think. Oh, yeah. And when do I want him to draw them? I guess I can swing on 2, 3, 4, right? I don't care that much if he draws... Yeah, let's swing on 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4. <clears throat> and we got the, the the tempo boy that we added. This is a perfect curve. They will never catch me. Spend as much mana as possible here, I think. Store free half draw a card, okay. You shall suffer. <laughs> Kinda glad I held the weapon swing actually, because it's it's done a good job for, for tempo. A very good job. Well, this guy's going to get some bad news off of that sigil. You have earned an eternity of wow, what a nut draw. Oh my goodness. The Chain Guardian costs one mana on turn four. Shit, the bed. Oh, he's going, he's going. What can he do? Let's see what he can do. Oh, more plagues. More fucking plagues, mate. Let's go. More plagues, yes, more plagues. Yes, more, more plagues. <laughs> this is so toxic. Poor guy. Now, which one am I playing here? Uh, he's got enough plagues in his deck. Just get the tempo. Tempo, tempo. <clears throat> this was disgusting. Yeah, has he... Wait, how did he get 10 plagues in his deck? My tracker is recording 10 plagues. I don't think that's right. I shuffle three of a weapon, two of a minion, three of hell yeah. Yeah, I don't know why my tracker is recording 10 plagues. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna have a handful of plagues now. Spend as much mana as possible, I guess. Um, I should probably save this just in case something completely disastrous happens. Can't imagine what that might be. I'm not thrown away. 
Yeah, he's gonna kill himself. He can't even get through a taunt, bro. He's dead. Oh my goodness. What a nut curve. That was the best hand we've had all day. Okay, so... I don't think I keep this. I think this is too bad. We got a one and a two, we try and find hell yeah. Who's hiding now? Oh, he's playing Demon Hunter. Why did I think he was playing, um, for some reason I thought he was playing Death Knight. It's because this looks like a Death Knight. Nice, slow turn. My pain come Don't back. think I'm in a hurry to use this. Let's just chill with it for now. I think we're probably calling out the school techer. Uh, one mana deal four to a bunch of stuff. That seems pretty good. Share my pain. Oh, I probably should swing now. Let's see what he's got. Am I on holiday? Yeah, I'm on holiday in Japan. My wife gave me a day off today. We've been we've been walking around these Japanese cities so much. Like every day we're clocking up over twenty thousand steps. So I said, Can I have a well, I didn't say can I have a day off. My wife said, Would you like to have a day off? And I said Yes. So my wife is doing all the things I hate, like so I really, really, really hate crowded markets. I, I, I feel like if there's a like a market with narrow streets and it's full bustling with people, I really can't stand it. Like I was getting very claustrophobic in the market yesterday. I could trade here and play this, or I could do this and this. I think I do want to get this down, so let's let's spend my mana. Pick me, pick me. Blood boil looks pretty good against his deck. Or I can transform the last pleb into a four five. Hmm. It's just a free 4 5, right? I think it might be better than Blood Boil, honestly. Save the last swing of this. <clears throat> anti Magic Shell. I couldn't play the Anti Magic Shell that turn. Looks like we made the right choice though. This was really good tempo. Oh. 
So I have... If I hear a power twice, I have guaranteed lethal set up. Um, but he should draw a plague. So I think I can just go tempo. Rock. I mean, there's no reason I don't think not to just full, like, pretty much full smork here. Because he will draw a plague, and then I will deal, um, and then I'll deal six damage to him next turn, so he should just die. <laughs> like, his deck doesn't run healing, right? So he has to kill me this turn. More plagues. My blood war. Here they come. Here they come. He's still alive. Oh, he can't actually kill the full one. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I'm a Plague fan. I'm winning games with it. Right, there's another Demon Hunter. So we need to... We need to go fast. To go turbo. How come I don't play Burrow Buster? What's Burrow Buster? Okay, I mean... I can spend my mana next turn. It's not really on things I want to be spending my mana on, though. Tan is definitely not very good. Hmm. I think I want to get this down first. Because I probably need to play Skeleton Crew on 4, so I want it to come back. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of hits here. This is not good. I probably need to get to, to play this card, right? Because I... I need Plagues in the deck as well. Yeah, this is not looking good at all. Like this this was the tempo play, but I need plagues in the deck. So you got a spell here. Like I could I could just tomb traitor this board just to get some tempo back. Um I'm kind of going to lose to the 1-5 anyway, right? Because, like, it, yeah, yeah I, I think I'm losing to the 1-5 anyway, so I just play this here. I think it's four plus one. This one's good. Gives me my my pleb back as well, right? Get him off the board. We got a discover a two cost card. 
got a couple of extra spells going on there. So these are spells, these are spells, this is a coin. He's, he's got two cards over here. He hasn't got his special card. He's looking for, he's looking very hard for his special card. <clears throat> oh, he has. What the fuck? He has got it. He's going in late. Oh, he discovered it. That's why he discovered it. But he's only got, this is the only Naga that could be in his hand. I mean, I guess he's pop decking one here as well. I think, I don't, I, okay. Yeah, my opponent didn't feel like he was going to win. You dislike dry scale in the deck? Yeah. Oh, wow. Number six. Okay. We're, we're actually climbing here. Shit for bed. Yeah, I, having played the deck, I agree with you, Janos. What what was the build I ended up on? Let's just have a look at my Demon Hunter build. I